afternoon, good morning, happy Sunday. It's your boy from Let's Toast Media. It's uh, what time is it? One o'clock, and um, I'm at work and on break. Watch this night game, getting in the car. It's kind of sprinkling it down here in VA, but um, let's say this though my thoughts on the game, man. I had this. It was tight at first. So I'll show y'all a tweet. I was in the in the spaces and stuff, and um, I had to score. I think like something, uh, I don't know, nineteen or something like that. But then I went. They was like, "Yo, what the score going to be?" I said, "It's going to be like thirty something to 17. I said they wasn't even going to score no more, and they didn't. But uh, shit, I ain't gonna lie. Man, salute to y'all, man. If y'all can see me though, but whatever, man. I know what time it is. It's one of them days, man. But um, it's it's a, it's 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 Rutgers. I don't know how Rutgers always give us these problems, man. But they 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 find a way and do. I mean, they find a find a way, and they also come come through with it like the first half. I was like, damn, this is gonna be a blowout. Um, Blake, man, I don't. He must. That guy keep getting the flu. He's Eminem for real. Mom, spaghetti throwing up. Gee. <laughs> I'm look, I thought he was hurt, but uh I guess he was sick. But um the first half was, you know, it was it was sketchy. Well, we was 17 to 14 or something like that. JJ got a hit on these throws. Anthony, I'm glad to see him in the game. I'm you know, salute to Roman Wilson. Hope he get better. I don't know what his injury was, but you know, they said he was injured with the wide receivers, you know, they did their thing. Of course, the running backs think they doing anything to run it. I mean the, the offensive line. The line, um, got to get healthy, man. This is the time of the year where it's like, damn, we need y'all. I think the whole left side is out right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, um, I think the whole left side is out or Hayes was out. Then somebody else went out today. And, uh, JJ took a couple blows today. You know what I'm saying? He had to get big today. Um, but he did his thing. I'm not mad at him. He, had, he made a couple throws with his legs. He got a, you know. I don't even know how to say it, like, what he has to work on because the score is like, yo, we beat him by, like, 30, 20. It was just getting ugly. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jesse Mentor, man, um, I said it earlier tonight when we was talking. I'm going to say it again. This guy is calling some of the dopest second-half in-game adjustments in college football, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's just because of us right now, um, but he is calling some great plays, and he's putting our players in the right position to do their thing. So, salute to Jesse Mentor, man. He is he's definitely making some play calls. Once the um, once he gets into this, I mean, he's I was going to say once the um, playoffs start, he's going to be in cruise control, but. We still got work to do. We still got, what, Nebraska next week. We got Illinois coming up. They lost today. Um, Ohio was in a tough game. But back to us, though, um, the defense, I still got to say, damn, we cooking, man. Um, corners, I was so glad to see the buffs come out, man, to finally get some picks and some turnovers. I've been waiting for this for like a couple weeks, man. I think we had, what, three interceptions, like back to back to back. Glad to see Will Johnson finally get his just due. It was long overdue. I'm finally seeing him to get uh get a pick. He always makes some great tackles. Um Green, man, my prayers go out to you. I'm glad you made I think that you made it and suited up. We just didn't need you today. Um, but I'm glad you made the trip, man. My, my, like I said, my thoughts and prayers go out to you and your family. Also with the uh the other player that was involved in the altercation. Um but the defense looked good. JJ in the office started getting in the rhythm. Um, I was glad to see that the game was finally over. Not saying over, but it was in his hands come to the fourth quarter that we can start putting our, our backups in. Um, I hope that we can get our – I'm not trying to say take it lightly against Nebraska, but I hope that our our offensive line can get healthy because we definitely going to need them against uh, Illinois and Ohio State. Um, but – I think we looking good, man. We good. We got a we we in the playoffs. Everybody can. I mean, we in the playoffs today. As far as I'm looking, um, it's Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, TCU. Those are my four 
that should be coming uh Tuesday afternoon when they make the playoff um when they make the playoff announcements. But um good win, tough half. Um to come out of that alive. I'm glad that we did. We still got everything is in front of us. Everything, all of our goals is still there. We don't need no help. We don't need no help. All we got to do is take care of business of ourselves. Go to Nebraska. Take care of business. That's all we got to worry about right now. Let the fans do the future looking ahead. But as far as we go, we got Nebraska. That's all we got to worry about right now. Nebraska, Nebraska, Nebraska. And let the chips fall. Let the rest of it just fall right into our hands. Because I said we should be ranked seven last week. Oh, we ain't have a strength of schedule and all this type of crap. Don't even worry about it. If I'm Jim Harbaugh, I'm scheduling Delaware, Saginaw Valley, Eastern Michigan, Western Michigan next year and the coming years too. You know what I'm saying? Line up Toledo. All of them. I don't give a care what anybody say. Give me all these dang on F. As long as we ain't scheduling Appalachian State, <laughs> we good. We can schedule all the rest of the teams, but I do not want to. I know I don't even know how I brought it up, but I don't want to relive that memory all week long. What App State did, what App State did. But uh, salute to everybody that's out there, man. I appreciate everybody. Um, go support everybody, Michigan Channel, man. Um, Michigan took care of business today. We finna go to this playoffs and shock the world. Hey, um, on another note, Jet Howard. <laughs> I know we play fair and suits the fairs, but Jed Howard and the basketball team, Jed Howard, <laughs> he did stuff that Caleb Houston wasn't doing last year, but um, that's another story for another day. But salute to the basketball team for getting their uh, they victory the other day. Um, Jim Harbaugh, everything's still in line. Every goal the goals that you set out at the Big Ten Media Day, be Penn State. Beat Michigan State and brought the, uh, brought the Paul Bunyan Trophy on. We got Ohio State right in front of us. We still got to take care of other stuff, but we got them right in line for the biggest. They said tonight was the biggest with Alabama and who they play? LSU? Or was it Tennessee and Georgia? Whatever. It's going to be the biggest game of the year. Biggest game of the year. Records is going to be breaking. TV sponsors, all of that. When Ohio State played Michigan, Michigan played Ohio State, November 26th. Yes, my birthday. Salute to everybody on Thanksgiving. But we finna shock the world. Well, not us. We gonna shock everybody else. We gonna go to Columbus. We finna beat them. Uh, my score is 55. I'm sorry, 44 to 26. Michigan is beating Ohio State. 44 to 26. Rutgers, it's been real. See y'all next year. Nebraska Cornhuskers. What up? Like Goldberg says, y'all next. Let's Toast Media. Your boy Toast is out. Salute everybody.